Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at a quick activity, and that's finding points on a number line. Now, here we're asking the instructions to find the following points on the number line. So let's quickly just get this together. Let me start at negative 5. We have a number line here. Let's just label it negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. This would be my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, first digit that they are asking us to find is the digit 7 on our number line. Okay, so let's look at our number line. So we would start at 0, the origin. And since it's positive 7, it means that I'm going 7 to my right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in finding 7 on my number line, this would be my point that I'm looking for. So this point there, that point there. I would find my 7 right there. Now the next digit that they're asking us to find in B is negative 4. Again, I am starting at 0, my origin. And since it's negative 4, the negative sign tells us that we're going in a, in a left direction or a negative direction. That is a left direction, okay? So I'm moving to my left of 0, and that's 1. I'm moving 4 places, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this place here on my number line, this place here let me circle it in a different color let me use a blue okay this place here this position here this is my negative 4 okay so right here would be my negative 4 that I'm looking for in part B now part C maybe look at may look a little bit tr tricky but it's not real now if you look at if you look at part part C you have 3 over 2 and from the playlist on fractions, simplifying fractions, we could simplify this fraction and we would say 2 into 3 goes one time. Remainder, I have a 1 over 2. So if you're not clear on what is happening here, you could always visit our playlist on fractions where we where we look, use diagrams to simplify fractions. I believe it's much clearer there. Now, now, really, what I'm looking for is one and a half. So, first thing, let me change my color again. Let me just change this quickly. the The first thing I'm looking for is is the is one, okay? Because this is my whole number. I have one, and then I need a half. So, a half would be halfway between one and two. So, somewhere there, okay? That would be a half. So, if I want one and a half, then it simply means then I'm interested in this position. So one and a half would be here and one and a half is the same as three over two. So that's my position here that I'm looking for. It's that easy. Now if I'm looking for 0 0.25, now again from our playlist you would know that 0 0.25 on conversion, 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter. Okay, so I'm asking myself now, where can I find a quarter? Okay, now a quarter obviously is less than one and it is greater than zero. So it simply means then um, a quarter can be found between, between zero and one. So the total as we would have learned on fractions, from fractions, um, from 0 to 1 would be one unit. That would be a whole. Now, in my whole, I would have to have four equal parts. So this suggests then that I would have to divide the, the distance between 0 and 1 into four equal parts. So let's do that. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts now. So from 0 to the first one, that's one part. That's the second part. That's the third part. And that's the fourth part. Now if I want a quarter, I want 1 out of the 4. So I'm moving from 0. I'm stopping at the first one. Okay. So that would be my quarter right here. Okay. This would be my 1. That, that position there would be my 1 out of 4 or my 0. 0.25 this first position there that I've colored in blue the first red marker okay and again you can take um, 5 over 3 let's move quickly to D to E 5 over 3 and 5 over 3 can be simplified to say 3 into 5 goes one time and remainder 2 over 3 okay now now what this is saying is that I have one unit 
and two thirds. Oh, so this would be one and two. Oh, I let me change this number. Okay, guys, let me just change this number because um, I, I've already have something in between there. I want to use a different number to 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 use up the space a bit more on the number line. Okay, so let's change. That. Yes, so let's change that to 13 over 3, okay? Uh, didn't want us to have figures so close up. Didn't realize when I was making up these questions out of my head. All right, um, so let's change that so we have the figures a bit more spaced. Now, here we have a 13 over 3, and we know that 13 over 3 can be simplified to say then how many sets of 3s can I get out of 13? I can get a total of 4 and remainder 1 over 3. So now, basically what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my whole number and my whole number is 4. So this would suggest that starting from 0, I would count 4 units to my right. So I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm at 4. Now, after I've reached 4, then I'm going to look at my fraction. Now if you notice, the denominator in my fraction is 3 and the numerator says 1 so the distance between 4 and 5 I must divide it into 3 equal parts uh, it's 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 that easy now let's just divide this into 3 equal parts that's 1 and that's 2 so this now has be, I have divided the, the distance into 3 equal parts now I need only 1 out of 3 alright so I've moved my 4 already so I am going to move an additional 1 out of 3 so this is is 1 out of 3. So um, 4 and 1 third is the same as 13 over 3. So this would be my position that I'm interested in right here. This would be my 13 over 3 and that's that position there. This position right there. Okay guys? Alright, yes it's that easy and bye bye feel free to leave a question or comment if you're still not sure. Okay, good.